could be alive. So welcome to Grand Columbia. Today I'm going to do the video that is the second most requested and the video that I hate the most. <laughs> I really despise cost of living videos. And the thing is, I've done them over and over and over. But one of the things that's requested that I haven't done, although I put prices on things throughout videos, but one of the things that you asked for that I just haven't done is, can you do a video just on the prices? So today, that's what we're going to do. This video is going to be entirely about prices. Price of this hat? I don't remember. But a couple things I want to point out on this. These screens, I'm going to do a voiceover and it's going to be screen after screen after screen that's going to be showing prices. And it will be in peso. As of today, the exchange rate is 3270. So whatever price that you see, if you want to know what it is, you can stop the video and then divide by 3270, 3270. Take that price, divide it by that number, and that's what you get in dollars as of today. And of course, as I mentioned, stop a video anytime you need to take a look. Now here's some things that I'm going to cover and some things that won't be in this video because as it is, it's probably going to be about 10 minutes long. What I won't be covering are the best bargains you can get. For example, I'll show supermarket prices. Now if I go buy mangoes, I can get them for a quarter of that cost if I buy them on a, buy it from a street vendor and they're probably going to be better. I'm going to show you, for example, a TV that's going to be a department store price. But if I go on Facebook or if I go on OLX.com and take a look, I can usually find those price, those TVs for half or a quarter of that price. The cell phones, the same. There, there's an, I won't call it a black market or an underground market, but there is a healthy, thriving uh, market non-branded just local people that will get these things uh, used for example or they'll buy up old lots whatever they do and you can go there and buy them and a lot of times they'll actually come with a guarantee now do the guarantees really mean much probably not I mean just to be honest with you there's there's a mentality here in Colombia that once you buy it, all bets are off. You know, you had your chance, you made the deal. They'll stick with whatever agreement you have in that deal. But once that sale is over, it's over. So always keep that in mind. And that can be frustrating at times, but it certainly reaps rewards. And low cost is, is one of those things. So as you look at the prices of these things, understand that what I did for most of these is look for prices that are representative of the mainstream go to the store and buy it i did show a couple differences for example transportation i've got a low priced uh, motorcycle i've got I, I believe a low priced car and then a more uh, a couple year old late model used car uh, new you can find just go on the internet you can look it up but used they're always available and it's certainly you know I think a better way to go for apartments I put a room and then I put a medium priced apartment so you'll see it when it when it comes to it and again don't forget you can do your own peso calculation because I have a lot of things here to take a look at so uh, feel free to stop the video if you're interested in something and then move on for all those that are constantly looking for this, here it is. Why haven't I done it before? Because I really hate this kind of video. But this is for you.